welcome back to ICO Review. And today, we're going to take a look at Horde. So at a glance, Horde is a cryptocurrency wallet designed to simplify the sending and receiving of any and all digital payments. But it, that really doesn't do what they are justice. Once you start diving into things, what they have on the roadmap and what they're planning to deliver is pretty intense. Um, if they they pull everything off, I think it's going to be the most ambitious digital wallet on the market. Um, but it's probably important for us to compare them to the existing digital wallets first, so you understand, you know, why they initially stand out to me, and then we can talk about, you know, what they're going to roll into the MVP as things develop, as the roadmap goes on, and uh, you know, have a look at the potential of what this thing can become because. It really is quite impressive. A brief comparison between uh, four wallets, specifically uh, Horde, Coinomi, Jax, and IM Token. So, first of all, what platforms are they available on? You know, what's the accessibility of the app? Now, all four of them are available on iOS and Android devices. The Jax comes out on top here, uh, also being available on Windows, Mac, and Linux. But uh, if we were going to go into the PC world, there are a hell of a lot more uh, wallets out there, but I wanted to focus specifically on the ones on mobile. So if you wanted to dabble in uh, in both realms, mobile and PC, then Jax would probably be the one for you. But We'll keep having a look here because uh, the internal exchange aspect of these wallets. Now, Coinomi, Jax have uh, Shapeshift integration and IM token has uh, nothing, has, has no internal exchange. You can store, you can receive, kind of like Cypher. Uh, you can store, receive, send, but there's, there's no internal exchange functionality. So Horde, instead of implementing Shapeshift like the other ones, are actually implementing their own standalone DEX that operates similarly to traditional exchanges. But what's also important to note is that they are going to be incorporating fiat into this DEX as well. So a, a fiat to any cryptocurrency exchange enabling investors to invest in any cryptocurrency using fiat. Pretty self-explanatory really. Um, but it's a feature I haven't seen in any wallet that I've been looking into uh, for this video or any of the wallets that I've used so far, namely being Jax and Cypher. That's a big differentiating factor for Horde, number one. Ease of use, you know, ease of use is important with, with any application. I will say that all of these wallets are relatively easy to use. I'm pretty partial to uh, slightly darker UIs, slightly darker displays. So like Jax, Jax has that like on black, uh, orange on black, really easy on the eye, really easy to navigate. Uh, a little bit slow when loading up wallets for my taste, but uh, other than that, you know, the actual user experience is quite nice with Jax. And Horde has like a, a nicer dark uh, color scheme going on in in the MVP. Um, the, the one that we're looking at here on the screen is a little bit lighter, so I'll, I'll demonstrate the MVP a little bit later on. But again, it's easier on the eye. And for the time being anyway, uh, everything in the app moves quite smoothly, but we'll demonstrate that a little bit later on. Now, here's something that didn't uh, sink in immediately. I'll explain myself. This is something that didn't actually occur to me initially uh, in terms of its importance, but which of these wallets are open source? Now, Horde has all of its code on GitHub, but Coinomi isn't, Jax isn't, IM Token isn't open source. Horde is. Now, that carries pretty specific implications when we're talking about what tokens can actually be supported in the application. And talking about that, you know, Coinomi supports 125 tokens currently. Jax supports exactly 70 token, uh, sorry, coins, I should say. Jax supports 170 coins, one of them being an ERC20 compliant token. IM token allows for BTC, ETH, EOS, uh, and some ERC20 applications. So Jax doesn't allow the adding of ERC20. Coinomi does allow the adding and IM token does allow the adding. Now in terms of Horde, 
Horde is superior or will be superior here in my opinion in being open source, in having their codes on GitHub because open source coding should enable your favorite devs of your favorite cryptocurrency to have their coin added into the platform in a relatively easy way. So let's talk about master nodes here in the white paper. So two specific ways that you can earn by participating in this network by staking your tokens. Uh, for those of you that don't know what master nodes are, essentially uh, a master node is a, a full cryptocurrency wallet that supports the network by hosting a, a full copy of the existing ledger, therefore allowing for real time verification of transactions that are occurring on the network. And here's the crunch for any users, any person that wants to host a master node is that you typically get rewarded in that network's cryptocurrency for hosting a master node. So Horde actually has two different types of nodes that will be powering this network. And really what you need to know about the market making master node is uh, they're responsible for verifying the deposits within the off chain ledger and assigning the transfer of ownership in the ledger when uh, users execute trades. And then the other one being order matching master nodes. These nodes are also responsible for verifying the deposit of users into smog network off chain ledgers. So obviously uh, the two fulfill slightly different roles in the network, probably extremely different roles for those of you that are technically minded. And of course you get rewarded for staking your coins and hosting that ledger as previously explained. Now the uh, rewards section on master nodes in the white paper is really quite hefty. You know, there's a lot going on here. So if this is of interest to you, feel free to jump in and take a squeeze. However, the master node requirements uh, staking 5,000 Horde tokens with the Masternode smart contract, running the Masternode software and upgrading the software when required at a future date. But there's still so much more going on with this platform. You know, uh, there are cold storage options. There are going to be merchant services, AI investing as well in the decks, you know. So there's, there's a fair bit going on here. So I want to switch our attention to the timeline. And it seems like a lot of this is going to be popping off Q1 2019. And you think about how fast time has moved since the boom of last December, you know, we're almost a year on. So really, if you're an investor, like this isn't long to see the platform hit maturation, or at least, you know, proceed past minimum viable product, you know, four to six months from where we stand presently. So uh, Q1 2019, uh, the multi exchange with portfolio tracking, uh, swaps the any for any asset across the network of liquidity, the DEX itself, rule based investing, uh, which uh, is allegedly going to connect directly to your bank account and make micro investments uh, every time your paycheck comes in. So it's almost like an if this then that type situation where you can rig up a bit of a protocol, your pay lands, it kicks out a certain percentage directly into the crypto market, which I really do like. Um, it reminds me of Acorn's app a little bit. You know, every time you make a certain purchase, it triggers that protocol and uh, you know you get a couple of cents thrown in you know something very similar to that up uh, fiat on ramp in q1 as well which will uh, allow person to person cryptocurrency payments that will settle in us dollars with low fees so you know with all of that being said please dive into all of this information and give it a squeeze yourself links will be in the description for you uh, let's take a quick look at the token then which have recently been updated on the site, which is why it all looks different now. So they've actually changed uh, the hard cap, lowered the hard cap to 10 million, uh, which is nice and reasonable. And the token price is uh, down from 15 cents to uh, 6 cents now as well. So a little bit more bang for the buck uh, for the investor and a little bit fairer in the current climate as well in my opinion. In terms of the team, you know, everybody checks out really quite well. Uh, if you want to go have a look at them yourself, they all seem like uh, they're software guys with a pretty keen interest in blockchain in one way or another. Lots and lots and lots of developers here. So before we end the video, here's a quick look at the MVP.
So I've already gone through the login process, the account setup process, and it's very, very user-friendly, very, very relaxed. Um, it will generate your keys and give you full ownership of the keys. And it, it makes sure that you've taken screenshots and that you've recorded your, your uh, seed generation phrase, which I, I like a lot. And you can see what I was talking about with that, that nice kind of UI, the way it's a little bit softer on the eye, you know, slightly darker interface. So I'm, I'm a fan of this, you know, if you're <laughs> one of those people that's continuously checking your assets, you know, I, I prefer not to have like a big white blaring display in my face. So this is nice and smooth. And you can see, you know, you click on say Ethereum, it's just gonna bring up your Ethereum. You're gonna send request, pretty cruisy. And you can see it's nice and receptive as well. Uh, you know, receive request generating uh, QR codes as well on the spot, which is fantastic. And the same for, you know, everything. But it's nice, it's functional, and it's uh, responsive, which I'm a fan of. And if you download the uh, app from the link in the description, you know, it'll link you through to all the relevant social media as well. So let's have a look at the Telegram. You know, so the group's got about uh, 2,539 members, which is, not bad considering they've already done one third of their token sale, if I remember correctly. Speaking of which, yeah, so one third, which is quite nice. We've got 22 days and 21 hours left uh, in the token sale. But other than that, uh, if there's anything else you all want to know about the project either, let me know in the comment section below or go join Horde on Telegram. It's just at the right size where you can get to know the community get to know the team and pick people's brains about what's happening now and in the future with the Horde project. And uh, as I indicated, you know, this will be my future wallet uh, if I haven't made that 100% clear. You know, I, I, if they follow through with everything that's being said uh, in the roadmap and everything that's being said in the white paper, you know, this will be my, my future wallet instead of Jax, instead of Cypher. You know, this is my preference. So I'm hoping everything comes to fruition. It's a great project in my opinion. Other than that, I have been your crypto enthusiast and I will see you in the next video.